Well, the cold weather made it a lot harder for crews in the town of Waukesha to fight a house fire. Firefighters worked into the night to battle that blaze. Our Keller Russell is live tonight with what firefighters had to deal with. Keller. And Charles, the last firefighters left here just a few minutes ago after seven hours here on the scene. The good news is, is that no one was hurt in the house fire, but today's chilly temperatures made their job all the more difficult. I'm just sick. What, what are you going to do? Robert Look had to see it for himself. Sunday afternoon, a fire ravaged the old farmhouse on Big Ben Road that had been in his family for ages. I put so much money in that house. I sighted it, insulated it, so it's warm. Put a, you know, stove. I did a lot of work around. You know. The 85-year-old son lives in the house in the town of Waukesha. A mechanic spotted smoke shortly after 3 when he stepped out of their nearby garage housing a bunch of collector's cars. Yeah, they got them out. They were all batteries in them. They must have started and got them out of there. But it took firefighters more than four hours to put out the fire that worked its way through the home's interior walls. The cold weather is the biggest challenge today. Everything's ice and and uh, the wind didn't help us much either. At one point, they brought in salt trucks to treat the road and driveway. It kept the road so that we could travel it. It kept the scene so firefighters weren't slipping and sliding all over. So, yeah, the salt trucks were big help. No one was home when the fire started. A firefighter suffered a minor injury after falling on ice. Well, right now, investigators believe the fire started in the home's basement in a room housing the hot water heater. On your side, live in the town of Waukesha, Keller Russell, today's TMJ4. Well,